What is up guys, Rooney Service on end here and today I will go over creating a few different groups in um, on ULX so that your dark RP server becomes a little bit uh, more uh, user friendly and you can start receiving donations and stuff like that. Uh, if you just watched um, my video on creating uh, dark RP jobs, um, this will go over actually creating uh, the donator group. So uh, let's get started. Basically, uh, you need a running game server, uh, preferably uh, with Dark RP, but this uh, tutorial will work with uh, any Charismat server, basically. Um, so the first thing you want to do is become a super admin on your own server, and super admin is the highest uh, rank available uh, by default in uh, in Garry's mod and using ULX at least. Um, so uh, let's just uh, put some ground rules uh, down first. Um, when you make um, groups and stuff like that, it's important that you do not, and I repeat, you do not edit the default groups in this game. You don't want to mess around with the super admin permissions uh, and stuff like that. It's better to just leave out the super admin group completely from other people than owners because the super admin group can and will have access to everything in the game basically. Um, it's a default group in, uh, in Garrus mod as well. There is a uh, um, there's something called is super admin uh, uh, that basically checks if the player is super admin meaning that it's built into the game and it's best to just um, stop messing around with it. Uh, the same for admin. Um, don't mess around with the admin uh, and operator as well. So I just open up my uh, um, ULX menu here. If you don't know how to open that, uh, you can watch my uh, video on again on how to become admin. Um, so go on to groups and then uh, we have some groups here. Uh, so you have the super admin group um, going on here. And what we want to do is click this little drop down here and then click on manage groups. And uh, here are the default ones. We've got user, operator, admin, and super admin. Um, what we wanted to do for um, for an owner group, I'm going to start off with the owner group, is uh, first create the new group. Let's uh, put the name as owner. And then we want this to inherit from super admin. This is important that you inherit from super admin. If you don't inherit from anything, um, what will happen is that you will not have access to the tab menu in here, basically. You won't be able to uh, mess around with the settings in here. That's what that does. Um, the can target here is a little bit complicated. Um, basically, it means um, whether or not um, this rank can fist gun anybody. Like, if you can pick up players and stuff like that. Um, and putting in the this tag here means that they can basically pick up anybody. If you don't want um, owners to be able to pick up other owners, it's a good idea to uh, put in a exclamation mark, percentage tag, and then type in owner. Now, when you use the, um, the ranks in your game, like when you use uh, like this one here, like I, I put in the capitalized O as I did up here, it's important that you keep them persistent. Um, if you start, um, like if I were to make this a lowercase o uh, on Linux servers, I'm not sure if it would actually work, um, but don't keep me off on that. Anyway, I'm just going to leave this at, <clears throat> I'm, I'm the only owner on this server, so I'm just going to leave it at this. So I'll create new, and we now have a owner group. I should be able to um, add myself to owner, and as you can see, I am now owner, I still have the same. Um, permissions as I did before. Um, so let's go back and uh, let's create a head admin. Oh. Uh, head admin. And uh, inherit from uh, admin. And they shouldn't be able to target anybody above super admin. See now I don't want uh, my head admins to be able to mess around with me so I'm just gonna put leave it at, at this. Uh, which means that they can't um, pick up owners or super admins. And I'm going to create that one. And we now have a head admin. And lastly, but not least, I will um, create a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry, a donor group. Um, 
Now, the donated group is a little bit special because, um, as you can see here, this one has the can target star, but the users are still not able to do so. Like, they, they can't pick up on people. So, I want this to uh, be star as well, and then I'm just going to call this uh, donator. You can also call this VIP if you want, uh, it doesn't really matter. As long as you use this like in your um, custom check in your jobs as well. All right, so uh, now that are the groups done, we can now go to donator. Now say we want to allow the donator specific commands, like we, like we want them to be able to, um, uh, there's some voting commands. Yeah, we want them to be able to start a vote kick and a vote ban command. See, now that seems reasonable. Um, so that if if a donator is on, they can like vote ban people. Um, uh, we also want them to have uh, uh, I don't know the god command. Probably a little bit overpowered, but for the sake of this tutorial, that will be fine. So now we can just uh, add ourselves to this. Now it's going to take away all my powers. I won't have any powers in here uh, either. But what I can do is enter God mode, as you can see there. So that is uh, basically how the, the ULX permission system works. And I hope this uh, video tutorial helped you out um, on your way. So thanks for watching.